Recently I did a video about the param array keyword in VBA. And here is another very useful example how to um, kind of use that keyword in practice. Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com and I kind of reference another video today. I recently showed how to use the param array keyword to build the coalesce function from SQL in VBA. And one of the viewers asked me if I can provide another useful example of the param array in VBA in practice. And actually I can because there is one very, very useful function I use almost every day in programming and that's what I want to show you today. If you use the C programming flavor of languages or programming in the Microsoft.NET framework, then you would probably know the um, print function in C or what I even like better, the string.format method in .NET. And that is a method that um, can convert a string containing placeholders and values for the placeholders into a formatted string. And that is actually very, very useful and I show you today how to kind of replicate this function in VBA and once again you are going to need the param array keyword to make this work. Before we get really started let's look at this function that is the original function I mentioned and it actually was written in the year 2002. That's something I could uh, deduct from this ridiculous comment in here. I don't like them anymore, but in this case, they have been useful to show this to you right away. So this function is basically 16 and a half years old and I use it in all my projects and almost every day I am programming VBA. Okay, now let's comment or let's just delete that right away and move on because I prepared a slightly modernized version of the printf function here and let's look at that for a moment and the, one of the key features is once again this param array type, type here so um, you can supply any numbers of arguments to this function. And then I kind of pass the actual string that was supplied and replace the placeholders inside the string with values. And it is not too difficult. The original function was just using a simple replace here. That is basically what the original function did. Um, it was replacing placeholder holders by their number with the corresponding value from the param arrays keyword or the param arrays argument rather. In the modernized version of that function, I added kind of this part up here and that will additionally apply formatting to the um, arguments supplied. And that is very abstract when looking at this function. So rather than uh, looking at the implementation, I would rather show you how to use this function. So let's look at the function using printf. So here is the actual function call and it's just a kind of train information message. Your train to and this will be the train name. Two will be the, let's use another color here. That will be uh, the destination and here will be entered the platform number, the departure platform. And finally, I'm running out of colors. So let's use this one here. 
once again. That will be the departure time and that is particularly interesting because that is not only a reference to the um, value but also a formatting information that is supplied there. So let's call this function from the immediate pane. Um, what happened there? No, it's not a function, it's a sub, so I need to remove the question mark. And now you see these values I de defined up here for my parameters are inserted into that string. That is the train name, that is the destination city, that is the platform number, and finally there's the departure time. And that is formatted according to this formatting rule. I could also enter a named format here like long time. And when I call this again, then the time will be formatted as um, long time, including the seconds. And I could also use something like short date. And of course, this does not make much sense, but it is actually technically correct because I only entered a time here. So the date would be uh, date zero in access and VBA context. And that is uh, this date. And I can apply the same to numeric um, parameters. This does not make much sense because it's the platform number. But nevertheless, it works. It will format that as a currency. And uh, my local currency is euro and my decimal separator is the comma. So it will use these uh, regional settings when formatting the values in the string. Okay, that is basically what the function does. And just for comparison, I copy, well, let's first remove that nonsense and change that back to the original um, hours and minutes. And now I paste in here the conventional way to do that. And maybe we should, yeah, you see the, the line is already pretty long. So that is obvious advantage of the print function. It does re reduce the line length or the code length. And this just uses conventional string concatenation with the actual values here to build that string. And here is the formatting included for the value before it's concatenated with the string. So the results are exactly the same but I think this is much more readable when looking at the text. It re requires a little bit of um, abstraction and linking in your brain when you kind of link the zero parameter to the train name and the destination uh, to the one and, and so on. So. Um, Maybe some people will find this easier to read in the context of the inserted values. I'm not sure, but I definitely very, very much prefer the debug, uh, the printf version with my function. So there is another advantage I would like to show you. So I prepared this function um, test print localizable and I replaced the hard coded string inside the function with a constant. Let's quickly look at these constants because there are actually two of them. That is exactly what you were seeing a minute ago. Exactly the same. But now I can just go to that function and without changing the actual implementation, I switch to another constant. And of course, this is only for convenience. It does not make too much sense with these constants because um, the real value comes if you read the 
string including the placeholders from the database or a configuration file or from somewhere else and just um, output the formatted string in the code of the application. And now I just call the same function with the constant replaced here. And now this is the German version of that text. Ihr Zug RE20 nach Limburg fährt auf Gleis 21 uh, at um, um 16.45. I'm getting a little bit confused with the languages, even though German is my native language here. That is the German translation. And you can do something um, else because this is actually a correct translation and it's very literally but it feels a little bit clumsy in German so you can also switch around the parameters and it would be better German or more familiar German at least to me and I think it's better language to um, switch the order of the parameters and put the um, the departure time in front of the platform number. So this does automatically work. I just um, edited this string and switched the parameters around and then the data will still be fitted inside the right slot but um, the the data is uh, switched around, the order is switched around according to this input string where now the argument number three is inserted before the argument number two. So this is very, very convenient to change the wording of your texts without um, changing the, the main um, meaning when you still need to um, insert the same value. So you can easily change that in a configuration file, in a configuration table, and your application will still insert the values in the right position and you do not need to touch the code. I think that is actually very, very convenient. So that's it already. Um, a very simple function, I think, and very useful. And I'm going to put the, the link to my website down in the description of this article and there will be uh, the code ready for copy and paste into your own application if you want to do that. And you're welcome to do that, just leave the, the tiny copyright line in there uh, showing where you got it from and then you're fine. And just a general note, um, if you watch my videos, it's always a good idea to look at the description and look at the comments because sometimes um, I notice in hindsight that there was an error in the video and I will put some uh, correction in there or additional remarks or people ask questions and I answer them in the comments. And if you have got a question, you're very welcome to put it in the comments below. Please do not expect an answer right away because it's sometimes a bit of a, a, a problem getting um, informed about all the new comments on YouTube. But I look at the comments and if my time permits, I will write an answer. So um, yeah, just take a look at the comments and that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.